whenever I don't know how to do something and I've not struggled but not always found the clearest answer online and then I finally get something working. I always like to record a video myself just to make sure it helps other people out. So today's video is just going to show you how to increase the maximum file size um, of the file allowed to import into MySQL when running on a local server within Windows. Specifically in this case it's within MAMP. Um, so I'll just show you how to do that. So it, with it being on Windows as well, it's I mean I've used MAMP on, on the Mac and it definitely it does work better I think on a Mac than it does. It's just a little bit clunky in Windows. So this is the site that I'm working on, uh, ffc.site and you can see here that it's using the default PHP um, version of 7.1.5 so all you need to do within MAMP, I mean it's the same process in, on the Mac is just do file, edit template, PHP and then just choose the INI file of the PHP version that, you, that you're using so in this case it's 7.1.5 and then MAMP throws, throws open its own little editor now on the Mac this is pretty decent and you can sort of I mean you can search and replace it on in Windows but it's just a bit clunky I found so I found it easier just to do an edit, select all, edit, copy, and then I just paste it into my text editor. And then there's just three values that you need to search for. So the first one is post max size. So if you just do post underscore max, it'll get it straight away. I think that's set really low in MAMP. Um, so just ch change it to well above what you're trying to import. The database that I was trying to import was a 70 megabyte. So I've I just changed mine to 256. The next one is the upload max file size, so we'll, ch we'll search for that. So that's upload mac underscore max. And again, I just changed mine to 256. And then the final one is the memory limit. So we'll just do memory underscore limit. Now, mine was already set to 128, so that's obviously bigger than my, my database that I was trying to import. So I didn't actually need to change that value. So I only changed the two values that I've just shown you. And then just do a simply select all, copy it, and then go back to your MAMP, do a select all again. I think it's already got select all there anyway, but just do a select all just to make sure. And then just do an edit, and then do a paste. I won't do it on mine because I've just done it. And then do file, save. And then when you come out of this, I mean, it hasn't done it there because I, I, I didn't save anything, but MAMP will give you a warning saying you've made configuration changes. Do you want to restart the servers? And then obviously just click yes. And then if I just go back into my uh, PHP my admin now and go back to a database and choose import, you should see the new um, max limit there of 256 or whatever you've set yours to. Um, so that's it. And then it worked and I was able to import my database and get on with my work. So I just thought I'd record that quick video just to help anyone out who's struggling with that because it, it can be a bit of a pain when you can't get the database in that you're trying to work with. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks. I hope that helps someone somewhere at some point in time. Okay, thanks. Cheers. Bye.